Hello everyone and welcome to my channel where I'm sharing delicious recipes every single Monday and Thursday. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell then you will know as soon as I upload a new video. I am Chef Christy and I'm excited today to share with you a delicious but healthy recipe and it is for a black bean burger. Yes, you heard me and it is truly delicious. Listen, as a chef, I am cooking all the time and sometimes the recipes are not the most healthiest. So I like to include as many vegetables and just healthy recipes into my diet and this is definitely one of those. So if you're skeptical and you're not sure you would like a black bean burger, I really hope that you give this a try. Just give it a shot, just step out and try something different it really is full of flavor and it is just delicious. So let's get started and let me show you just how I make it. Okay, so I just wanna go over these ingredients with you. There's just a few of them. And the star of the show, of course, is the black beans. And then I've got oats, uh, I've got a lemon, but you can also use a lime, a red onion, a bell pepper, any color that you prefer, salt and pepper. And then let me, let me just show you these spices. Okay, so what we have is chili powder, smoked paprika, turmeric, cumin, and garlic powder. Okay, I just opened my can and I'm just gonna reserve just a little bit of this liquid off of the beans. And now I'm going to open them and just rinse them. Okay, so I have put my black beans into my food processor and then what I'm going to do is I've uh, got half of this onion that I've just cut in bigger pieces and then about half of this bell pepper as well. And then I've got my oats and I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice, just about a tablespoon or half of the lemon. Now I'm just going to blend this together, pulsing it. All right, I'm just gonna scrape down the sides, add my seasonings. I'm gonna put a half of a teaspoon of salt, some cracked black pepper. This is why we reserved the liquid from the black bean because I'm going to add just a little bit of this at a time. So I'm gonna pulse it again. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the liquid. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of that. That was probably about a fourth of a cup. And now I'm just gonna take this mixture and I'm just going to form some patties. Okay, I went ahead and put some parchment paper on a paper plate, and now I'm just gonna form some patties. And the mixture is a little bit wet, and that is okay. The oatmeal will absorb the extra liquid, and that makes sure that your, your burgers are nice and moist. They're not dry, that's what I like about these. Okay, so I'm just gonna make these patties and place them onto my plate. Okay, I want to tell you that I did place these onto a sheet tray, and let me tell you the reason why. It's because I'm gonna put these into my freezer for about 15 minutes or so, just so they can firm up. It makes them a little bit easier to handle. Remember, I told you the consistency was a little bit wet, but that's what you want. You would rather bite into a nice, moist bean burger than a dry bean burger. So I'm gonna pop these in the freezer, and then I'll show you how I fry them up. Just doing some dishes while my bean burgers are in the freezer. <laughs> Quickly mash up some avocado. of some of that lemon juice, mash it up. All 
All right, I'm ready to fry up this black bean burger. I've got a nice hot iron skillet and I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Then I'm just going to lay my burger right down into the skillet. I'm going to let them cook for a good five minutes or so on each side. Okay, as you can see, I have four patties left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these back into my freezer until they freeze solid. And then I can just simply take them off the sheet tray, put them into a Ziploc bag, and keep them in my freezer. And then when I want a black bean burger, pull it out, let it fall in my refrigerator, and then they're ready for me whenever I want one. All right, let's flip this, these burgers over. Ta-da! Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna top these little beauties with some pepper jack cheese, but you can use whatever cheese you would like. And just so that the cheese melts, I'm gonna cover this for just a little bit so the cheese will melt. tell me that that does not look delicious. I'm excited to share this recipe with you and I have got to try it. I mean, it is a, a nice big burger. I've got guacamole, well, avocado mash. Um, oh, it's so good. That is delicious, even if my burger does kind of slip out the bottom. <laughs> wow. Mm. It's a little bit messy, but aren't burgers supposed to be messy? Okay, I have really enjoyed cooking for you today and sharing with you this delicious and healthy black bean burger. I really hope that you give it a try. And I will see you soon and have a wonderful day.